and we are now live. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new series on the channel, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Definitive Edition, a rise to the top series. Now this is going to be just like our other Grand Theft Auto series, all right? It's going to be a completionist walkthrough of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. We're going to complete the game, do everything there is to do, all right? In San Andreas, we're going to be playing the Definitive Edition, getting the achievements, all that good stuff. But, something about this series is a little bit special. Rockstar, when they came out and made a special edition of the game... What on earth are my dogs barking at? That's how silly. Anyway, when they came out and made a special edition of this game in 2012, they released... Or, not 2012, a little bit later. They uploaded this in 2012. This is like a special introduction video, right? It's a little thing they made for San Andreas. And what it says here in the description, the introduction is the original 20-minute prologue video that highlights the action in the days before the story in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas begins. So it's a little intro, a prequel, a prologue, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's kind of the first part of this series. So we're going to be watching this video t together today, reacting to it, talking about it as a community. It's going to be super fun, 21 minutes long. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, thanks for joining me this afternoon, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for four likes already. Uh, welcome, Jet9. Welcome, Antonis. Welcome, Steve Gohome. Good to see you guys. Okanda, Pidgey, KJ1. Nice to see y'all. Welcome, welcome. All right, anyway. Uh, oh, my goodness. My first stream where I see Kess reacting. Yeah, it's going to be fun. This is the introduction that was included in the special PS2 edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Antonis has got it right. Uh, if you're a GTA San Andreas fan, you'll get to see some crazy crap. Sweet. Okay. Never get seen this intro, but I'm so excited to see it with Cash. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right. Anyway, let's see. O'Connor says he's here. KJ1 says don't care. Play the video. <laughs> KJ1, be nice, or I'm going to put you in timeout. Nico Zenos, welcome. He says Grand Theft Auto. I know, right? I Glocks, welcome. He says, oh my good gracious, man. You're going to play GTA San Andreas? Yes, I am, good sir. Now that we've finished Vice City, I very much am going to play San Andreas. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Maybe intense for younger viewers. Yeah. Mm. Lempeni Polaski. Writer. I've heard of Ryder, but none of the other names mean anything to me quite yet. T-Bone, Marino. Oh, this guy. Sweet. Is that his name? Smoke. I know who Big Smoke is. I don't know who Sweet is. Macker and Kent Paul. Wait, wasn't he in Vice City? Rosenberg, Salvatore. I know he was in Vice City. So this takes place before Vice City, right? And CJ. So before the 80s, then? It's like 70s? Oh, Santos. Now, this is kind of low res. It's 360p, so don't expect amazing quality or anything. I mean, it's PS2, guys. Come on. Panamic! Well, he says, I'm early. Thank goodness. It's gonna be awesome. I knew that fat fuck would see it our way. Yeah. Always do, once they understand the choices we're offering. Say, Frank, what the hell are we gonna do about this Hernandez coming on board with us? Exactly same thing as last time. He's either gonna play our way, or he's gonna have a problem, like that oversized asshole back there. Look, I ain't worried about that, Pulaski. Pendleberry's more of a concern. If he does what he's threatening, then shit's about to get real interesting. Yeah. Hey, Frank, how about passing me a smoke? Hey, let me hit some of that, homie. For sure, homie. Well, that's what we're doing. Man, what's this cess bullshit? Man, you ain't got nothing real to smoke? Hey, they ain't cess, homie. That's that hydro. Man, whatever. Man, you sure about this thing? Man, I'm telling you, dude. Grove Street's gonna shit, man. They done. But we copping off one of they OGs, man. You sure this is cool? Or this some kind of trap? He cool, man. And if anyone tries shit, we blast him. Nice. Okay. Uh, Antonis says it takes place after Vice City 1992. Ah, okay. KJ1 says, This introduction features spoilers to a moment that would have been a plot twist. Ah, okay. All right. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. 
Panamic is... Okay, so that's the timeline of the game. All right, that's good to know. So, KJ1 says, See, everyone knows its origins, so why not come in its origins and play the video? No, KJ1, no, 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 no. Just, here's something you don't seem to understand, buddy. Just because you know everything there's to know about the game doesn't mean that everybody else does. Okay, so just calm down. All right, be polite. Kes smoke a lot. Exactly, Nico. Kes got the real one. Exactly. Like you do. Show. None of this, Man, none of this fake Bro, she ain't even no real gang no more, homie. They perpetrators. Now they even know. Shit changes. And this shit changes everybody, man. Even OGs want a slice of this. And loyal customers. <coughs> Guess you're right. That shit changes everything, don't it? For sure. Let's bounce, homie. The way I see it, man, I need to be in charge of my destiny, homie. This way you will be, homie. This is all about destiny. You know I got your back, right, homie? Cool. How my shit look, fool? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Now, the way I see it is that we don't have a choice. Ain't nothing to feel bad about. You put a gun to a brother's head, brother's gonna do what he's told. No matter if he's a fool or a wise man. You don't want a bullet in the brain. But if you can make it work and make some Benjamins while you at it, <laughs> then that's cool. It's gonna take more than a bullet in the head to stop me. <laughs> I don't doubt that, homie. Okay, San Fierro. This reminds me of a Quentin Tarantino film so far. Just a bunch of random scenes that all mean something. Oh, tell me right now, homie. <gasps> tell me. You better tell me what I want to know. Amanda, come on, enough. Yes. Hey, this box is a fucking rat, is it? I can smell it on him. I think that's something else we can smell. They ain't gonna talk now. So what do we do now, Holmes? I think I got us a buyer down in Los Santos. Por cuanto, Holmes? How much? Not sure yet, but they're talking big. Up to 100 Ks a month, low risk. Wow. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you read it correctly. Well, I'm sorry it seems that way to you. <laughs> He's yeah. still whooping yes. the crap out of him. It's unconventional, yes. Well, when did your methods ever get results? When? Hey, I know people who are dead because of you. So don't mess with me on this one, okay? It's vital that it goes ahead. History will understand. Look, I've done a lot of work. They trust me now. Yeah, you, know, you can't play with shit and not get dirty. Everybody knows that. Even you, okay? Now look, I gotta go. I gotta go. Mendez! Now listen, that was a buyer. We gotta step up production. We're not thinking big enough here, okay? My connections in Panama can get us all the product we need, untouched. But you gotta arrange the market. So why don't you stop dancing with your boyfriend here and get on it, all right? Huh? Let me get this piece of shit out of here. Huh. I wonder what he meant by like... Oh! Hey, fool. Okay, I'm, I'm very confused. So what... So he's talking about like having unconventional methods, right? But he's just he's selling stuff. So is it the distribution that's unconventional? I don't I don't really know. All right. Anyway, Sandwich says hello again. What's up, Sandwich? Doc seven five five. Welcome. He says the time has come. San Andreas, you better believe it, homie. All right. Guess is the real smoke, not big smoke. You better believe it, Jet Nine. All right. Anyway, Bloody Mary Kills, welcome. Hi, Kess, made it, bro. I'm glad you could make it. The voice acting is way better than Vice City. See, I, I agree, Nico. I was about to say the same thing. With each game, not only does the gameplay get better, but I feel like the story gets better, not necessarily because one game's story is, like, more significant than another's, but just because, like, the voice acting is better and they're doing a better way of telling it. You know what I mean? It's like with each time, they have, like, more emotion. They're stepping it up. They're, like, having all this extra stuff in there. You know, I think it's gotten like the game has gotten far, far less basic with each iteration and just had like a more and more compelling narrative. So that's pretty awesome for the most part. Originally supposed to be in GTA San Andreas PS2 copy of the cheat code disc, but it was cut. Yeah, it ended up in some special edition, right? So uh, even a low resolution looks better than GTA San Andreas definitive edition graphics. Okay, boomer, whatever. 
All right, anyway. We losing the streets, man. Nah, we are standing by our principles, homie. But our principles are making us bitches, man. Every day, ballers get stronger, and you and I get weaker. You and I get poor, man. Man, that shit'll blow over. Oh, it well, always does. Man. Testing, testing, let's go. We good? All right. I'm sorry about that, guys. I apologize. For some reason, uh, the the internet just totally crashed. Like I looked over, and all of a sudden, our streaming software was just red. It wasn't sending any output. So tried closing it. It crashed. Uh, restarted. I think we're fine now. I don't know why I said the internet crashed. I meant the streaming software. But yeah, I'm sorry about that. Let's go back a few minutes here, cause uh, we got we got kind of interrupted there. So sorry about that, everyone. You could probably see there was some lag there for a moment. I was like, wait, what's going on? And that was what? All right, anyway, let's try that again. Oh, fucking dead body. All right, so beginning of the scene. They're Baby throwing dice. Oh, shit. Hey, fool, we losing the streets, man. Nah, we are standing by our principles, homie. But our principles are making us bitches, man. Every day, ballers get stronger, and you and I get weaker. You and I get poor, man. Man, that shit'll blow over. Oh, it always man. does. Man, who ever heard of a gangster rapper called Jeffrey, hey, man? Hey, Jeffrey, oh, man, Jeffrey, get the hell out of here game, man. Come on, move. Oh, gee, that's so funny to man, me. That's a gangster name, man. Like Sweet or Big Snow. Jeffrey, you ain't no gangster. Man, you ain't never put in no work for the set. You a friend, but you ain't no gangster. Man, I'm for real, homie. For real. Okay, cool. Now kick rocks. You messing up my game. You know what? I'm going to prove you how real I am. Watch me. Hey, Jeffrey, go to college, man. Make something of yourself. Me and a fat man, we mess our lives up. We fucked up in the game, man. We products of the environment. Don't be an idiot, man. Make us proud. Do shit different, baby. <laughs> but I'm a gangster rapper. It's my calling, homie. Look, man, do whatever you want, but get the fuck <laughs> out. Nah, man. Go be a gangster someplace else, baby. <laughs> get your... This ain't a fucking playground right. craze, man. This is the biggest money-making opportunity that guys like us will ever see. I got all the shit I need. Man, I thought we was in this for the hood. Not destroying the family, man. It's Rose Street, <laughs> nigga. Talking to Holden. Rose Street. You heard from CJ lately? We ain't speaking. He got his own life more than he deserved. What, what, uh, what, uh, Brian been dead, what, five years now? Yeah, CJ had five years when he should have been dead. Man, I lost two brothers, man. One got killed and one showed himself. Oh, perpetrating ass. You real gangster, man, but you got a light nut. See, CJ, he's... Now, CJ running around like a fool on the East Coast. He can rot in hell for all I give a fuck. Okay, so, so he and CJ don't get along because they were doing some job. He was doing a job with a couple of his brothers. One of them died. One of them got caught, I think. And then CJ got locked up for five years. And so if I remember correctly, the game starts with when uh, CJ's let out of prison, right? So, so this is like setting up for like what's coming in. Okay, interesting. All right, that's cool. All right. So, being able to create your own cheat codes was revolutionary. Could you do that in the original San Andreas? I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. I don't know why, but whenever Big Smoke says the P word, it makes me laugh. I can see why. Oh, he's got a kind of a funny sounding voice anyways. No wonder he's become a meme. Wait, this is Liberty City? Wait, is that CJ? It's kind of blurry, but that looks like CJ. That is CJ. Joke. In a game called I Grand so Theft Auto, that's what Jack. surprises you. Oh, let me go back. Let's talk over that. Oh, get out the hole. Put this out now. Oh. This Joke. looks just like GTA 3. Hey, what's up, man? It's C Jack. Yeah, I hear you. I never knew my dad, but my brother used to make my life miserable. What? Yeah, well, that's what family for. Anyway, uh, I got that thing you wanted. Want me to shoot it by the garage? Nah, nah. I gotta get this thing off the street, man. It's way hot. All right, cool. Let. Oh, so he's taking Johnny, the car for specific reasons. You reason. want five million dollars of my money? I want to help you make a fortune, Mr. Leone. My father wants to unite our organizations. The Sindacos and the Leones? That's impossible. That's been impossible since your associates whacked my cousin. Hey, you know me. Business is business. The personal stuff is nonsense. I'd like to see a way past this bullshit. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, you was, uh, seeing a way past this. No, I was saying I'd like <laughs> to. And you were asking me for five million dollars. 
So, so let me understand it. I go in your casino, take a third stake along with your organization in the Corellis, then I let you guys manage my investment for me? Bingo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you must really think my mother, God rest her soul, fucked an idiot instead of my father. Are you calling my mother an idiot who goes with morons? No, of course not, Mr. Leone. <laughs> I'm only making an offer. Clearly, I misinterpreted. <laughs> what the hell was that? What the actual? <laughs> that shouldn't be that funny, but it is. Oh, man, back when the PS2 still had on mine. Yeah, right. The purple suit guy that CJ stole the car from returns in GTA Liberty City stories. Oh, that's cool. What GTA San Andreas had multiplayer? It has it has a multiplayer mod. It has a community run multiplayer. So, you know. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Nico Zeno says, who wrote this? Well, Mel, I don't know, but it's hilarious. Let's do this. Uh, let's, let's, let's go back for a minute or so. There you of go. course not, Mr. Leone. <laughs> I'm only making an offer. Clearly, I misinterpreted your intentions here. Look, I humbly apologize. Forgive Sit down or I'll slit your throat myself. You luck sucker. Ever since Sonny Ferrelli got himself pasted Wait. all over Florida. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 wait. Time I misinterpreted out. your intentions here. Look, I humbly apologize. Forgive Sit me. down or I'll slit your throat myself. You luck sucker. Ever s Did you guys see that? They cut it. They cut the word little out. It went from you lit ah. It wasn't it wasn't just you little. It was it was you lit ah. I don't know what that's about, but okay. Since Sonny Ferrelli got himself pasted all over Florida, you think you run things in this town. You show me no respect, you insult my family. Your father, he ain't fit to wipe my ass. I'd fuck an elephant before I'd fuck your mother. How does that feel? Mr. Leone, I think you're just misunderstanding. Hey, you're a good kid. Me? I'm just an old fool. What do I know? Nothing, really. Actually, less than nothing. You can have the money. We can? If you give me control of the books. Yeah, you see, we, we can't do that, Mr. Leone. Then I meant it. Your mother's a fucking transvestite. I got an idea. What about a third party, an independent guy? He runs the place, and together we run him. Well, we can't do that, Mr. Leone. We, we got our guy in there already. Get rid of him. Show me exactly how much you want my organization's involvement. Wait, is CJ going to be the guy who ends up running the mop? Sure we not. Sure we not. I don't, I doubt it. Oh no, you're watching the censored version. That must, that must be what it was, KJ1. This is what, this is the Rockstar version. It's what's on their website or YouTube channel or whatever. Uh, if Sonny hadn't died, none of this would have happened. Right, exactly, Nico. Because so, somebody else would be running the mafia. <sighs> I don't need a bump. I don't need a bump. I don't need a bump. Cocus for the week. Cocus for the week. I am strong. I am strong. Winners win and losers hit the rails and nail hookers. I am in control of my own destiny. I need a job. I've been disbarred from the law. Thought he but I'm in bit. control. I've done it. I'm clean. I, I'm cleaner than a new toilet seat. I don't oh need a bump. Ha! Ah! 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 I could use a ride. Oh, that sucks. What the hell Listen is he? son. I don't give a fuck about. Okay. What does he have to? Can I ask a question? What the hell does that guy have to do with the game? Guess can't beat this guy in a mom joke battle. Probably not. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, I stink an elephant before I stink your mother. I know, right, Jet Nine? That was hilarious. Ken Rosenberg is such a great character. He really fuck is, you. man. I don't Dang. give a fuck about your principles. Is that who that guy was? Was Ken Rosenberg? People who step in my way. The, the weird guy with the glasses. Uh, I could use a ride. He's great. Uh, that sucks. Listen to me, son. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about your principles. I don't give a fuck about your friends. People who step in my way get fucked. Now you got paid. You took the money. 
I'm trying to set you up for life here, boy, and you're inadequate. You no use to me at all, boy. Maybe I should kill you instead. Eddie, organize a hit squad. Ooh, Not a problem. Security. <laughs> you hear that? You feeling me here? You about to wake up with your head 50 feet away from your body, son. Do what we agree. Oh, you think you can put one over on me? Do you? I don't think so. So do it. This week. All good, Dang. pal? Pal, I'm your superior officer, and don't you forget that shit. But yeah, all good. So is he gonna do it? Didn't I say it's you all to good? Turn your weight around that much. So we're gonna go get the kid? Yeah. Let's initiate the little bastard into the force. CJ? Yeah, because they roll up with CJ in the car at the beginning, right? Ah, yes. Tommy Versetti, please. No. Tell him not. Ken Rosenberg called. Ken Rosenberg, you haven't heard of me? Who are you? Ken Rosenberg. Rosen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ken Rosenberg, yeah, he was he was Tommy Versetti's lawyer. I didn't recognize him. I didn't recognize him. His hair was different. Yeah, he had that weird 80s hair, remember? Okay, so he was disbarred. I understand now. He was disbarred. He got off a of coke. Got to the phone. Wait a minute. Wait, I gotta go back. Was he say was he calling pretending to be Tommy or is he talking to Tommy? I don't know. Okay, you know the warrior in pink suit from Vice City. Yeah, 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 exactly. KJ1. Okay, whoever had wrote these lines had too much fun. This is awesome. I'm so glad you guys told me to watch this. Thank you guys. What a gift. What a gift. <laughs> uh, I'm cleaner than a new toilet seat. I don't need a bump. Quote of the month. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> Someone who needed counseling wrote this game. Oh, I love it though because that was the thing in GTA 3 whenever it was going through the dialogue I was watching I was keeping interest, but it all seemed just kind of like Kitty pool level deep. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of like okay. It's kind of cringy and if I city it was a little bit better But it was still like your typical 80s movie, but this this is good. This is good dialogue. Anyway, let's uh, let's continue shall we? Ah, yes. Tommy Versetti, please. Tell him Ken Rosenberg called. Call him. Ken Rosenberg, you haven't heard of me? Who are you? Ken Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, oh really? You told him I called? Look, I made that ingrate, and now he won't take my calls? Just put him on the phone right now. Hello? Hello? Ha! Damn it! I've got the signature. I am now the proud and legal oh, manager yeah. of the Gurning Chimps. Your mine, Macca, son. Your mine. Fifty grand it cost me to buy you out of your contract. You're like a racehorse or a great little slosh pot. Right. Guaranteed banker. This time, my son. This uh, time. Fucking great, kid. Uh, Bowing in. Give us an all. Come here. Uh, I love you, lad. I love you. I've never felt like this before. Fantastic, son. Great. Bit of emotion never hurt no one. Uh, great. Yeah, let me go now, you're sweating. Wow, these doves are blinding. I'm rushing me cock off. Well, how many you done then? 19. Oh, no. Come on, give it some. You got any beef, Pablo? No. 50 gram of this northern prick. Uh, America. America! I can't fucking wait! <laughs> what the hell? Where were you city again? Here we go. Panos Fort, welcome to the stream. Duty says, hey Cass, I recommend you play GTA multiplayer, which is super fun and I'm sure that you will enjoy it. Oh, I most certainly will and I'll definitely be playing it. That's Kent Paul in case you didn't realize. Yeah, I recognized him. So, so all these GTA games are connected to each other. Yeah, they're all in the same sort of universe, basically. Are you playing the PS exclusive GTA's The Stories ones? Yes. Yes, I will be eventually. Yes. We're going to do San Andreas, then Advance, then Vice City Stories, then Liberty City Stories. That's CJ. Oh. Give me your fucking money. All right, man. All right, man. Here, here, man. Here, man. Take it. Come on, man. Don't shoot me. Oh. 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 Ooh, that looks like it hurt. Ugh. Wait, I recognize this. Hey, how's your woman? Ugh. Ugh. She's a ball buster. 
Ever since we moved to Ventura's, all she wants to do, spend, spend, spend. For Christ's sakes, I got better luck on the tables. Yeah, I hear you. Hey, give me a hand with this guy, will you? Yeah. Who are they burying? I mean, why do we whack Mickey anyhow? He's a stand-up guy. I don't know. Something about money. Oh, man. What? He was on the take? Nah, he was kosher. A little <laughs> too kosher. That's why he had to go. Oh, I get it. <laughs> too kosher. Yeah, he was declaring too much money. So we got to get a new guy in. You know, I hear the Leones are lending the bosses some money. The Leones? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. We hate the Leones. I know. That's what I said to Johnny. But he said they needed the money. <laughs> On a note, they dirt ball. So, Mickey gets capped, so we get a new guy in, who everybody bullies. Then, when he misbehaves... Yeah, we dig another hole. Exactly. Oh, the hey, independent you hear guy about Bobby back about. east? No, what? He's gone queer. Can you believe that shit? Oh, mother of Christ almighty, I seen everything. Mean, yeah. <laughs> so, we got a vacancy. We kept our end of the bargain. Then I guess we're on. You want something to drink? No, no, I'm good, thank you. So, who's gonna run this casino for us? Hey, we're gonna need a real idiot. A guy we can all push around. There's this lawyer used to work for the Ferrellis down in Florida. I was, uh, I was just about to say, I was just about to say it was gonna be Kent Paul, right? I was like, I was like, I was like, Kent Paul. When he said that, when he started talking about it, I was like, CJ. And then he's like, somebody real pushy. And I was like, or not pushy, somebody who can be pushed around. I was like, Kemp Paul, or not Kemp Paul. Yeah, no, Kemp Paul. The lawyer, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> that's cool. I meant to type GTA San Andreas multiplayer. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the uh, community ran multiplayer. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So it's gonna be great. If you're playing in the room, release order, Liberty City Stories released first, not Vice City Stories. Are you sure? Let me double check on that. Vice City Stories, Vice City Stories. Release date. October 31st, okay. Um, oh, you're right, okay. So, my mistake. Liberty City Stories, then Vice City Stories. I heard he's uh, sniffing around for a job. Just got out of rehab or something. Yeah, that'll work. I'll make a call. Great, hey, don't fuck this up, kid. All the time. All the time. It's the one you had to do to do come crazy in. So you're the new kid, huh? Stink. Yeah. Been working on the streets three years, though. And I realize there's only one kind of crime in Los Santos. Gang crime. That's why I joined Crash. Get in the car, kid. What's Crash? I was called in on this domestic dispute case once. You got this young kid, okay? Can't be more than 20 years old, beating up his wife. So I figured, easy, right? No man hits a woman. Well, turns out this woman spends all day free basin and nearly let their kids starve to death. All right, so what do I do? I could take this guy in and leave a little kid with a drug addict mother, or I let a guy off with beating up his wife. I mean, it's difficult out there. Domestic violence? Yeah, yeah, serious stuff, man. Yeah, I'm sure. Plastic yeah. pull over. He didn't give a stink, does he? Well, I deal with drug dealers, gangbangers, and psychotics. All of them chasing after a lot of money. None of them scared to kill me, you, or all our families if they think it'll help them. Now, this is a bit more serious than a domestic dispute, pal. I didn't mean anything by it. I was just... I'm not really interested in what you meant to say. See, what you said was you found a woman on drugs a difficult situation. Now, how the hell am I supposed to trust you if you're so easily confused? Look, I'm a good cop. This ain't about being a good cop, Pippi. It's about taking control of the streets from the fucking savages who've got it now. I know. Then you'll do what it takes? Yeah, whatever it takes. Because this is a game of percentages, 24-7, 365. We're just trying to screw as many bad guys as we can. Yeah, I know. That means letting some bad guys get away with things. And sometimes it means doing shit that you ain't proud of, because you're strong enough and smart enough to understand the bigger picture. Look, I know. You don't know shit. Get the fuck out of the car, Issy. Oh, that is fascinating. Are you sh are you guys sure there wasn't any Quentin Tarantino involvement in this? I'm getting my big vibes from that. Anyway, 
What were we talking about? Blah, blah, blah. We talked about Ruiz order. Cats, whoever suggested you to see this, they are smart. You know what, Jet9? A couple of different people suggested this. I don't remember all who, everyone who did it, but I know Sam was one of them, so let's give him some credit. So, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah, this was a good idea. Uh, Doc Maggie, welcome. I don't recall this cutscene from the game. Oh, this isn't, this isn't from the game, Doc Maggie. This is, uh, this is like an introduction film that was released later in a special edition. It's like a prologue or a prequel or whatnot. So it's not from the game. It's like an intro to the game. That's why we're watching it before we actually play it. Are you enjoying yourself, huh? Uh, no, I just, you know, just getting a feel for the place. So this is hey. the way it is. You're sitting here already having a good time. Me, five million in the hole to the Sindacos, and you not doing a thing about it? Huh? No, not at all. I, I spoke with Johnny. He oh, you everything. spoke with Johnny. Yeah, he came by, told me you were partners You spoke now. with him, huh? Yeah. Did you suck him off as well, you little fucking weasel? You're my man, not his. <laughs> I got a good mind to end this here and now, you Judas. Come on, sir, you please. Rat. I thought that was the job. Oh, you thought that was the job? Mike, get the door. I'm the job. Me and my money. And I want it back, and I want it back fast. Johnny fucking Sindaco even so much as blinks at you, I want to hear about it. You find a way to give me my money, and fast. Understood? Yes, yes, understood. Understood. And cheer up. Okay, who's Johnny Sindok, or whatever his name was? Have some fun around here. This is supposed to be a casino, not a monastery. Christ, I've had more fun taking a crap than I've had here. Come on, go get me a drink. Smile, schmuck. Here! Who are you mm. gonna tell now? Eddie, chill out, man. The prick's still breathing. That's good. Hernandez. Finish him off. Come on, please, don't make me do this. Say what? I can't. Hey, I thought you understood. He's a fucking cop, you maniac. <laughs> Not no more, he ain't. We went over this. It's about percentages. I know. So whose side you on? His or mine? Yours, Frank. Yours. Then be a fucking man. You cap him, or I cap you. Come on, do it. Pull the trigger. Now it's a green car. What does that tell you? No! Oh, shit, hell! Oh, oh mama! Mama! Oh, oh, mama. Oh, oh, get the, come on, bro! Mama! CJ, it's your brother. Okay, what you want? I think you better come home. It's about mama. She's oh. dead. Oh! So that was how she died. See, I knew he came home about his, yeah, he got out of prison. Yeah, his mom died. I remember that. He came back because his mom died. I remember seeing that. So that was how it was. It was in a drive-by. Oh, man. That sucks. All right, guys. Well, that was the intro to San Andreas. Pretty stinking cool. Gives us a good uh, idea of what's going on and what to expect. So I hope you guys are excited for this series on the channel because it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked for it. Three and Vice City and all that was pretty great, but I know San Andreas is going to be an awesome experience. Like I said, we're going to be playing the definitive edition of this game. We're going to be using some graphics mods to touch up some of the, you know, issues with it that haven't been fixed yet. And uh, then afterwards, we're going to be going back and doing mods that not just graphic mods, but content based mods, multiplayer, etc. Not just for the Definitive Edition, but also for the original version of the game as well. So that's going to be starting this Tuesday, but also this Monday, we're going to be doing our 7,000 subscriber special on the channel. One live stream of Team Fortress 2 in the morning, and then an afternoon live stream of Kess Reacts. And how I do reaction streams, which is usually just a subscriber milestone special, but how we do them when we do them is in our Discord server here. Uh, we set up a little channel. You can post videos, and I watch them here live, kind of like I just did this one. So hopefully, I'll see you all there then. And one other thing I want to announce, tomorrow after, excuse me, yes, tomorrow afternoon, so like post lunchtime, right, Saturday after lunch, we are doing a live stream of Doom Deathmatch. 
for the uh, GBA deathmatch levels that came exclusive with that port. So, ton of content coming to the channel over the next few days. Hope you guys uh, tune in. Hope to see you there. And yeah, thanks for being a part of this stream. It was awesome watching this film. Really enjoyed it. And thanks for being here, everybody. Anyway, ATIF says, hi, Cass. Hi, everyone else. Hey, ATIF. Welcome. CJ's sister. Yeah, yeah, that girl. All right. Uh, KJ1 says it's a green saver. Mm hmm. Syndico had the Kaluga's, Caligula's Casino. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. The reason why it feels like it was made by Quentin Tarantino is because it's trying to link GTA San Andreas, a game with three cities, with uh, like five different subplots. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they really definitely stepped up their game with San Andreas. And I really think that's why Grand Theft Auto has been such a. a um, a standout series, I guess you would say, throughout all the years, is they got a really good storytelling style kind of early on, and they've stuck with it in the later games. So, props to them for that. All right. Anyway, good stuff. Nico Zeno's like, rise to the top. Exactly. Doc says, have a good weekend, Cass. Enjoy your dinner. You too, Doc. Anyway, guys, thank you very much again for being here. Till next time, I've been your host, Cass Gaming. Hope to see you on the San Andreas stream. And until next time, I will see you all at the top.